What's wrong? It's nothing. Just tell me. Well, I don't know what to say. You want to break up? Yeah, I think I do. Why? What's the problem? <sighs> it's not that simple. Yes, it is. I like you, you like me. Just tell me what the problem is, okay? Okay. It's just that... I've been hurt before. Hurt? Yes. You've been hurt before. It was this guy that Are I... Are you fucking stupid? Excuse or me? Or is that some sort of fucking joke? What? You have no idea what I've been through. You have no idea what's happened to me. What are you talking My about? My whole life, I've had to deal with things. What happened to you? You don't even want to know. Yes, I do. Hey, girl. So, what'd you do last night? Not much. Yeah, because you were supposed to come over. I'm so sorry, girl. I totally got caught up you with You were with that guy, weren't you? Yes, I was. Ah! <laughs> What'd you guys do? Uh, not much. Just went ice skating. No. Yeah. Did he hold you like this? Yeah, he did. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Harder? Oh my god, yeah. Did he kiss you? Everywhere. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Did he do it like that? Just like that. Just like that? Yeah, like that? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Oh, oh my god, god. just like that? <laughs> Show. Welcome back to the show, folks. I am beyond delighted to introduce our next guest. Finally, Pete. Welcome. Mind if I call you Pete? It's fine. I'm, I'm good. It's my name. You have had an incredible career and a great run uh, these last couple of years. Still, should have saw us sooner. <laughs> Just saying. My movie just came out. We'll talk about the movie in a second. What I'm curious about is the radio interview you recently did where you talked about some problems in your childhood. And you know, it made a lot of buzz out there. People are talking about it, but they're sort of confused. Well, I think it's difficult because people see me as a funny actor. Mm, a clown. And a very positive guy. But I had to let go of the negative and see the positive in life. That's how I managed to succeed as a professional. And succeed you have, my friend. But I'd like to talk about, about the my foster mother. homes. I mean, that's got to be difficult. <laughs> what was it like? It was difficult. I mean, you're, you're being shipped from home to home, and adults saying you need money to buy me clothes, and them keeping all the money to themselves. These people, you know? It reminds me of my Uncle Al. You know, he would always come to the picnics, the family picnics, and steals all of the food and he's drunk. Why am I talking about that? Let's talk about this. You read recently all of the reports that happened to you as a child. Is that, is that true? Yes, I've, I've read the documents and the journals from the time. And it was things like, like being chained to the bed and, and screaming all night. And Oh my gosh, that happened to me last year. Or, uh, sorry. It's, it's, when you're a child, it's, it's, it's a problem. It's a good point, Brian. Thanks, Pete. But the main thing is that I've let go now. Mm. I've recently sued the state, and I'm going to be compensated for my mistreatment. Well, I know you have plenty of money, uh, but uh, if you don't mind me asking, how much are we talking about? <laughs> I believe the maximum amount is $7.5 million. Say what? That's right, $7.5 million. Wow. 7.5 million, you don't say. My goodness, good night. Well, we'll talk about that in a second. Please stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. The Show. Welcome back to The Brian Show. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Pete's story really resonated with us and got us thinking, the crew and I, uh, about what we can do for those who have also suffered in their life we want to give away a million dollars to the person who has suffered the most. 
and we're going to give you that money, whoever it may be, next week on the Super Bowl of Love. Tune in for your chance to win a million dollars. And I'm fucking serious. Hey, Jonesy, how's it going out there? How do you like the town? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm almost there. It's really beautiful around here. Uh, listen, I, I got all the interview files, and uh, I think I, I've prepped all the interviews. Um, I was thinking I'm going to start with the Virgin. How are my chances? Well, there are pros and cons with your case. I can tell that the fact that you've never been intimate with a woman is a burden for you. That's the thing you want most of all. Yeah, that's all I've ever wanted. Also, you have been homeschooled, so you never had friends or normal social activity like other people. Yeah, and I get scared when I'm around women. Okay. I feel like it's something I've never learned. Something I can only dream of. Well, objectively speaking, you do have a solid case. But what's going to be going against you is the fact that you have a big, loving family, which you admit. Yeah, but that's not what I want, most of all. I, I know, want... I know, but most of the other contestants don't have that. It might make you look like you haven't suffered as much as the others. Oh. I didn't realize that. What has been the hardest for you? That I was raped. Do you have any more questions about that? Um, no. It happened in this room. The rape? No. Private therapy. Oh. Okay. Tell me about the therapy. How did it make you feel? Well... From wanting to die all the time at the beginning, to... To wanting happiness? No. I wouldn't go that far. I have goals now, and I know what I want. It's like Pete said in the show. You have to let go. Oh, right. What's next for you? I'm waiting for a miracle. I want to go to veterinary school. And I know it can happen one day. That's why I want the money for. Well, your case is certainly very strong. What's going against you is the fact that you have the brightest future. None of the other contestants have that. You have a long and fun life ahead of you. Oh. Jonesy! Hey, great job out there. Thanks. The contestants are being uh, transported back to the hotel. We gotta make sure that no one's screwing us. Capiche? Yeah. Whiskey and ginger, please. You mean ginger ale? Yes. Oh, that's my favorite drink. Can you make that too, please? Coming right up. Hi, I'm Dana. What's your name? Tom. Tom, well, you seem like a really nice guy. Okay. What about girls, Tom? 
Do you have any girlfriends? No. Why not? I get scared. Tom, stop talking. Close your eyes. <coughs> Fuck. Yes. No. Yes. Not. I'm allergic. Yo! Hey! Yo! What the fuck? Yo! Yo! This guy's so happy to be outside. Just loves the park. Seems like a nice dog. Mm. It's a nice day out, huh? Yes, it is. <sighs> we have to go. I'm a veterinarian, and I have to take care of the other animals. OK, bye. Bye, Beth. Welcome back to The Brian Show, ladies and gentlemen. We have got a great show for you today. First, let's talk about the news. Well, there really is no news, but no news is good news. Did you hear the joke about the jump rope? It, just skip it. All right, let's get back to it, folks. Stay tuned. All right, can you just look up and find the light for me? Oh, you got some really nice skin there. Nicest of brother of shit. You've got this. Now go in there and win. <laughs> yeah, baby, we did it! We did it! Nobody in the history of Earth has ever done what we've done today. We're gonna give away a million freaking dollars today in the Super Bowl of Love. Can you believe it? Can you feel it? In my hand, in my hand, is an envelope of the person named that submitted a story where they had pain in their, in their history. One million dollars will go to them. Now, we appreciate all of the submissions, and believe me, some of them were sad. Some of them were downright funny, but most of them were sad. In this envelope, I will name the person who is winning one million dollars, and then we're going to introduce them. Are you ready? Are you ready at home? Let's do this. Wait, what? It's, they left? You gotta be joking. Fuck! They're not here? I'm sorry, folks, this is highly unorthodox, but uh, just go to commercial, go to commercial. Oh, this is some bullshit. You trying to get a cab? Yeah. I'm going to the train station. Me too. You want to share one? Yeah. I'm Beth, by the way. Tom. You're not allergic, right? No. I like being close to animals. Hey. You guys need a ride? Yeah. Let's go. Damn it, I, I do this job every day! And then this always happens! 